Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be going on the mission Guidance. We're going to be using Kaiba's brand new team of Triple Blue Eyes. Rex Raptor is going to be hanging out with a Thunder Dragon. Bones is the same, Pegasus is the same, Labyrinth Ruler is the same, and Weevil's going to be hanging out with his Insect Queen and Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. So, let's go ahead and see how our new troops do. And hopefully we can take down anybody that gets in our way. Honestly, I'm kind of curious to see how this will go. Um, overall, I feel like our team is really stacked, but our blue eyes are quite young and they need to be buffed. Hey, partner, we must defend our position and stop Kaiba from reaching the capital. We've finished fortifying our defenses. He will not be able to approach easily. Alright, so we're going to be taking on the teams Loomis and Umbra, and yes, they're going to have some high defenses, so get ready. Uh, we're going to start this off by figuring out why they're going towards the middle of the map. Is that Loomis or Umbra? It's just some officer. Alright, so that officer is going towards the middle of the map, but who's this? This is Loomis. Loomis is coming after us. Umbra defends the base while Loomis comes after us. Pretty interesting strategy. So what we're going to do, in this mission, don't worry about roaming monsters, just worry about survival and murder. So we're going to see the enemy bases. This enemy base is completely protected. This enemy base is completely protected. As long as the enemy bases are completely protected, you might as well start fighting people on the outskirts. Now, sadly, we don't have Mokuba. Mokuba would probably be the guy I have as a sea troop. Um, I don't have any sea troops. I have flying troops and ground troops. Um, it would be nice if, you know, we actually have more members, but for some reason, we just don't. So I'm going to let Kaiba... No, Kaiba probably can't do it. Let's see. Kaiba's monsters are too new. This guy's team, he's got Orion, Celestial Punishment, and Justice Flash. Yeah, that seems pretty tough. You know what? No, Kaiba needs to get some experience. So I'm going to let Kaiba try out his uh, powers on this guy. And you know what? I don't mind if he fights them in the ocean. Let's see the blue eyes in action. Look at him fly. Next, I'm going to send out our Labyrinth Ruler. He's going to go this way, just in case. And we're going to send out the brand new Rex Raptor. He can't move too far. But he's going to move to about here. Yeah. Nope, maybe a little closer. How, how far does the circle go out to? You know what? Even closer than that. Just stand right about there. Right about there. All right. Let's see it. Loomis versus freaking Kaiba. We will not yield our position. All right. So their forces are going to be pretty tough this mission. This is a good mission to get you some experience. And if you really want to rush it, you could use your items to heal up. So as you can see, my blue eyes are quite weak. They don't have any items, they don't have any moves, but our opponents do, so this is going to be really painful. Luckily, we start off with high HP. Alright, Soul Spear, yeah, look at this, our opponents are very strong. 366, and Orion's Anger. We knew we were going to be taking on, this is the second, like, there are two bosses, Loomis and Umbra. Loomis is the first boss, and Umbra is the second boss. We knew we were going to have to fight them eventually, so let's get to work. I'm going to start weakening Dunamis, the Dark Witch. She's one of the stronger cards. A four-star monster with 1,800 attack, she's actually a threat. And I can't seem to hit my destructive burst string because the game is a jerk. Let's see if the game will stop being a jerk. There we go. Yep, that's, that's good. Thank you for letting me hit that. And that didn't do much. Also, I'll die if I don't, um, if I don't poly. So I'm forced to poly, which is something I didn't want to do until after I weakened my opponent. But sadly, they're forcing me into this position already. 3,000 HP is not as many as I had hoped, but I have that healing and I have super armor and all that fun stuff. So I should be able to take these hits. Blue Eyes Ultimate versus all of these creatures. But all of these creatures still have a ton of HP left. So... It's going to be a really tough fight. Alright, first attack, we're going to go ahead and use Ultimate Buster and take out Duname's health. A Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was always such a cool monster, but goddamn. Goddamn, is it hard to fight people that are actually high level. Alright, Kaiba, let's see. You're healing up. Not enough. We're going to need more HP. It'd be a waste to use one of your turns guarding, but... It might be something we have to do as long as your opponents still have attacks left. Plus, this damage is a little too good. If Kaiba gets wiped out immediately, that would be super embarrassing. So, while that guy still has one attack left, I will guard. Valhalla arrow coming through. 
All right, Blue Eyes Ultimate just stands strong. All right, bro. Oh, we, oh, we didn't let him break it. That's good. Orion's Anger. Let's see how much this does. The first one weakened our defense, so I'm assuming this will break it. Yep, that broke it. Okay. And he guarded on his last turn. So that's the good news. He at least guarded. The bad news is we don't have enough life points to survive this. So we must kill freaking Dunames before she gets off any more attacks. And we're only doing 400 damage, which is way lower than I thought we'd be doing. But it's understandable seeing as our monster is not evolved. You know, it's not. It's still level 1. This is a level 1 Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The weakest you'll ever see it. <laughs> Excuse my cough. I, uh... Just have a little one. And just like that, we're dropped pretty low, but we still have 900 HP to make do. Um, ugh, as long as that guy has another attack, it won't be an I, I won't survive. I, I'm forced to guard. All right. And they waited. Interesting. But they went with their attack, which is good. We wanted to waste that person's final attack. So hopefully the guard doesn't break to that card. Yes, we only lost 6 HP. And now it's just a fight. We have to win this fight. If this monster kills us before we kill them, it's going to be the worst situation ever. So let's see. 470, we need two more attacks to win. Valhalla arrow, let's see how much it does. Come on, take it. With our HP healing, unless we get to crit, we can win this. It's going to be close, but we can win this. It's sad how close this fight is. Like, yes, we lost, but Kaiba survived. And with level 1 monsters, that's all you can really hope for. All right, Valhalla Arrow. No crit, no crit, no crit. Come on, everybody in chat. No crit. I know there's no chat. Everyone in the YouTubes. No crit. Ah, oh, the crit didn't kill us. They actually got a crit. Okay, if this move misses, we lose the entire mission. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. A crit nearly wiped us out. We barely survived thanks to all of our healing and proper guards. And just like that, we won the fight somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kaiba reached level 24. Oh, okay. We didn't technically win that fight, but you know what? Our monsters have lots of HP and theirs doesn't. Because Blue Eyes Ultimate does not count as losing HP. Look, we still have the same amount. Uh, who is my healer? You're my healer. Heal me up. All right. Also, don't let that guy get away. He's part of the problem. Get, go get him. Go get him, Blue Eyes. I know you're not the fastest monster, but catch up. Wait, he's on this path. Go, go this way. If we don't catch up, it's a lot of experience you lose out on. So come on. There, we'll zoom in on him. How do we zoom in? There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's almost there. Come on, Blue Eyes. Chase him down. Hurry. He's about to touch it. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like you got to stop him. All right, this is good experience for Blue Eyes. Killing an enemy boss is really good experience. I mean, look at all the levels we got, and we never and we didn't even wipe them out. We just hurt one of their troops. All right, but it was their strongest troop. Dinami's the Dark Witch was a huge threat to us. The rest of these, they're problematic, but they're not a huge threat. So let's go ahead and start working on Miss Orion here. And don't miss your burst stream again. I'll get upset with you. Which one are you? Uh, it doesn't show your name. I'll get upset with you if you miss your burst streams. Uh, you're kind of low on HP, but I'm going to assume you'll be fine. Then we need a lot of attacks to kill you off. But if they kill you, we're in a lot of trouble. Alright, 300 damage. That's good. And you're my best attacker. This is my best blue eyes, the one in the middle. I believe this is Azrael. Let's see how much damage he can do. He rocks 325. Okay. Could hope for more, but... Level 1, and we have no incre uh, item that increases our power, so we're in trouble there. Soul Spear really sucks. We're down to 700 HP. And it's time for another fusion. It's time for Polly. Let's go ahead and bring out the ultimate. Everyone, say hello to Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Free HP. So instead of 3000 HP, now that all my monsters have leveled up, we're 3064 HP. It's like you're watching the monster grow in real time. <coughs> but... Let's see how it works out. You know, I'm actually pretty excited today. Me and my mom, we're going to meet up. We're going to a place uh, to get some barbecue. It's going to be delicious. All right, let's go. I get some real good beans from there and uh, this uh, pulled pork that's just really freaking good. I'm really excited to go back. All right, let's see what you got, Orion. Blue Eyes Ultimate may 
not be the best monster at level, I'm guessing. Oh, God, we got hit by a crit. Blue medicine. I never even checked their items. They actually have medicine. Thank God I didn't try to kill them off last time or we would have lost the battle. I was patient against Nam as the Dark Witch and that that saved me. I didn't even know he had medicine. He had medicine. Wow. Wow. Well, that kind of wasted one of my ultimate burstos, but whatever. We'll keep it going. Kaiba needs to train and fighting Loomis is great training. Oh, don't miss. Fighting Loomis is great training, though. All right, we'll just be forced to wait. Oh, that's the worst. A miss is just disgusting. Like, when you're this weak, you can't... You We already got hit by a crit and we missed. We need some positive luck on our side now. Because obviously, Blue Eyes Ultimate's an amazing monster. And its HP healing ability is the only reason we're still here. What do they call that? Oh, I got a crit. There we go. Mix up for it. All right. Uh, well, one of them. I need them to miss now. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let me see what my abilities are. I know I have something special. We have armor, super... So armor, defense helps uh, lessen damage from enemy attacks. Amazing. Super stamina. It's super stamina allows it to automatically restore life points. That saved our lives. And static ar status guards is really nice. Honestly, fusion monsters are so... Some fusion monsters are so busted. And blue eyes ultimate is one of them. So we're going to just go ahead and ultimate burst. It should finish off Orion there. Barely, but it finished him. And now we're going to finish off Gil... Gilsha the D-Knight. And he might barely survive. I want it dead, but it might survive. These are pretty interesting monsters to give to Loomis and Umbra. It doesn't really suit them, all things considered. Where's Shining Abyss? Where's um, Milkid the Four-Faced Beast? I mean, if you're not going to give them the Mass Beast, which is really weird, you should. Where? Where's... Um, there's so many monsters, honestly. And just like that, my opponent has been dealt with. And we made it to level 12, but because they're still running, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish them off. But they have no HP left, so that's kind of funny. Oh no, I knocked them the right way. Good. Urgh! Final attack, everybody, and then Blue Eyes will be at a proper level. I mean, it's not a proper level, but we'll take what we can get. So we've grown all the way from... 1900 HP to whatever HP we're at now. This guy's at an awkward angle. He's like, wait, where's all my friends? And I'm like, nah, you just gonna die. You don't need friends. You need death. All right, 300 damage is pretty solid. Let's see. I got Dragonic Fury, but I don't need it. Two more attacks will finish this guy off as long as I don't miss. Which has happened a little too often lately. But let's just assume it won't happen again. And you have Soul of Obelisk, which we will be saving for an important, important part of this. Alright. We only got one fusion left in this fight. After that, I won't be able to fuse anymore. And the Blue Eyes Ultimate do the job. Kaiba, do you reach 25? Was Loomis worth it? Yep, Loomis was worth it. And your monsters all reach level 15. From 1 to 15 just by killing a mini-boss. That's really good. But... Now we're damaged, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Red Medicine up, you, and then I think the other guy has Red Medicine as well, right? Yes, he does. And Red Medicine up that one. Alright, so we're chilling right now. we got to think of a way to destroy these enemies. Um, I'm going to leave Bones at base for a second. And I'm going to bring out... Let me zoom out a bit. I, I like having the ability to see things. We're going to bring out... Uh, oh, let me get Kaiba out of the way. The reason he's not coming out of base is because look how big he is. Watch this crap. Once Kaiba gets out of the way, Weevil's going to pop out. And you're going to be like, damn. Yeah, look at that. He's not as big as 2 of King Rex, but Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth is pretty damn big. So this is our new moth, everybody. And hey there, Pegasus. Why don't you come out too? I want everybody in position for battle. Every single one of us. So this guy has a guardian and himself. And he has castle walls and healer. Interesting. That guardian came from this base over here. Well, let's see, who's in here? Just a regular guy. Who's in here? Just a... Oh, that's a that's an actual enemy. That's a, mar a marshal. You're the boss. And another marshal. Okay. Well, for these first enemies, I think I will just activate their stuff and go in. It's okay. I'll live. Bone stays in base because he's our best member and we don't want him to die. So why don't you just walk forward and get shot? 
There. Wow, I was like an inch off. I'm, I'm like perfect at measuring that. One inch closer and we'd be in a lot of danger. All right, let's go ahead and red medicine up everybody. There we go. Everyone's got red medicine. And now let's see how you do in battle, Rex Raptor. I know your team has been extremely weakened by me taking out one of your members, but I'm sure you could take on this guy who looks like he'd be Labyrinth Ruler. Monster Tamer. Oh, Dungeon Worm is really strong. Okay, hold up. And I'm forced to fuse because that's the only thing this guy can do. Shit, I'd rather get my attacks off. But if I try to do that, I'll probably die because I only have 800 HP. All right, go ahead and fuse. So we have a new fusion, everybody. It is the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. And it's kind of weak, honestly, but we're going to enjoy its presence. Ew, don't ooze us. That's gross. And you do a lot of damage, don't you? Holy shit, 400. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our opponents. Do they have items? They have no items. Do they have abilities? Castle, road, forest, field. So this guy's, prob this guy's a big problem, is that worm. For us, we have the lucky ability. Luckier than most, it's very good at dodging enemy attacks. Hell yeah! And this guy, yeah, we're... whatever. Alright, so let's try out our special attack. Charge! We're building up that energy, everybody. Yep, it costs us a lot, but we built up energy. It probably was not worth, to be honest. Oh, where's my lucky ability? I thought I was good at dodging. Alright, you, on the other hand, kill that dungeon worm. That thing's actually a threat, and you're one of my best attackers. Look, I weakened Rex Raptor's team a lot by giving him this fusion. But I wanted to... Sh I always like to show off at least all the fusions. That way we can finish up our monster compendium. Because I'm going to try and get every fusion out here for that reason alone. Alright, well, I already charged, so let's see how much we can do now. Thunder Flare Discharge! Alright, after the charge, we only do 468. It was totally not worth. That was super not worth. And I'm going to lose my Cybersaurus, guaranteed. Well, I'd rather lose him killing the opponent than him just guard. Let's bring down that worm. We killed Dungeon Worm, but we might survive the battle if our lucky kicks in. Like, the only reason that charge would have been worth it is if we did, like, I would say 600 damage. But 400 is definitely not worth. Luckily, my guy survived long enough to take most of the hits. So, Cybersaurus, he did not get off his third attack, but he took most of the hits, which means that now we have an opening. <clears throat> but I have to kill the opponent. Also, I'm very glad this Monster Tamer guy did not use his ability, I think it's called Beastly Command or something, to buff up the rest of his crew. Okay, Thunder Dragon, you said you're lucky. Where's the luck stat? Use it, please, before you die. And let's do another Discharge. Hopefully the damage does not get weaker because I didn't charge again. Nope, it's the same, good. This Worm Blaze is going to put us in death range. I might lose Rex Raptor. <laughs> oh my god, going for the fusion might cost me Rex Raptor in this fight. I, I knew his team was weak, but goddamn. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to kill off the Worm. <laughs> and by killing off the Worm, that puts us in the lead in this fight. But, get okay, he guarded. That actually saved my life. The fact that that guy just guarded saved my life. 298, I could take one more hit, so I'm allowed to just go for damage, unless they get a crit. <laughs> I'm allowed to just go for damage. Um, I'm just gonna kill this spider. I don't like this this mountain whipper guy, but we'll let him live. Alright, 453, and Hunter Claw's coming in. That is good, we live with 90 HP. If we didn't, we'd lose the entire, we'd lose Rex Raptor. So sorry about Cybersaurus, but Thunder Dragon gets some levels. And Rex Raptor gives me even more HP. His monsters must be tanky as hell. Thunder Dragon doesn't count. I don't think it has the same orb the color. But the rest of them, oh my god, they must be super tanks. Alright, use that monster born, bring him back, and let's try this again. Alright, guess I do I not have any more red mess? Alright, screw it, Dying Keto. Normally I'd save that, but we're just gonna go in and kill this guy before those uh, defenses get back up. Sorry, guys. I have a little bit of a cough. Nothing too bad. Probably take some medicine tonight just to be safe. All right. Here we go. Now you're going to face my team without the fusion. Now you're going to face me. Take on one of these. This is so he doesn't buff his team. Yeah, machine gun to the face. How do you like that? And my two out of King Rex rocking a 2,500 HP stat, which makes sense given that Rex Raptor is giving him a lot of HP, is going to do a bit of a Dino Flame, I think. 
think that's the right thing to do. Yeah, go ahead and set that guy on fire. I was thinking about buffing my team, but then I can't use items, and this is, a uh, Thunder Dragon's HP is still terrible. 836, he gained 36 HP for crying out loud. Um, I could try to see if one of my attacks are decent. I could go for fusion or I could guard. I'm going to guard. Because if they go after him, <laughs> I will lose Thunder Dragon in two attacks. Luckily, they didn't go after him. But Cyrosaurus is another target I don't want them to hit. Alright, two of the King Rex do hit him. He's actually ready for hits. He wants to be attacked, so please attack him. Why did you get two attacks off? When is it my... Whoa, wow! Did I get a whole turn skipped? What the hell? They got like four attacks off in a row. I almost lost all my HP and I have no more heals, so that's really, really bad. Alright. I can't believe I lost so many turns. And at least we can finish off the spider, but my uh, Cybersaurus is still at risk. As long as this attack doesn't miss, that is. Good. Alright, Thunder Dragon. You got nothing else you could do. You could fuse, I guess. But... Damn. Kind of just there. Terrible monster, honestly. Alright, you just wait, because I don't want to fuse yet. Now it's in where... Okay, here we go again, attacking my Cybersaurus. Do you need to really... Can you please stop? Cybersaurus is almost dead, for crying out loud. Why is it his turn again? Thunder Dragon, I don't want you to go yet. Wait. Alright, you, yes. You kill him. We're gonna kill him. I bet you if I attack with Thunder Dragon, he does like 100 damage. Like, it's like nothing. Two out of King Rex. At least this guy's rocking like 300 with no buffs. 330 at this point, I think. It's pretty good. Yeah, almost 330. Thunder Dragon. You know what? Screw Fusion. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how much your Shock Blast does. I said it to be like 100-something. 180. Damn, that's really bad. And let's see. If he gets a high roll or a crit, I die. Oh, he missed! Cybersaurus lives to tell a t another tale. And just like that, we captured a base at the risk of our HP bars. I did it for fun. And fun was had. Honestly, I thought Rex would lose this, but we actually won. So that's really impressive. I'm not using Thunder Dragon anymore. I had fun, but it's just a terrible monster. Hey, Cybersaurus finally at level 40 gets another attack. That's something we desperately need. We also needed to get more HP, but it's not getting that for some reason. It's not its not gelling with Rex. You know what? This guy's probably just as weak. Go ahead and, you know, risk your own life to do it. I won't do it on the bigger guys over here, but we'll, we'll get ready for it. Here, stand like right here. And then... Pegasus, let's see your range. Stand like... Oh, there we go. Yep, just a little bit of this. Nothing to worry about, guys. I'll take a little damage, but he'll take it. Uh, you stand like, get, on, get, get like right here. It's fine. Your circle's very small, so you're not at real risk. And you, you just got hurt, so red med blue medicine up. Blue medicine's an easier heal. It's not something you want to do mid-battle anyway. It's better outside of battle. Alright, and now use that castle adept to your freaking advantage and take this fort. Get in there. Show him true power. Koiba, you don't really have many items left either, so I gotta be careful with you. I might switch around and get bones in here if I need to. Alright, let's see. Chimera, it's the same team as the other one. Yeah, let's just get rid of the worm. We all know that worm is the real problem. Once Dungeon Worm is dead, we can move on to other problems that I am clearly going to have. Shadow Goal, do the same thing. Shadow Goal is one of those... Oh, man, these guys have terrible HP stats. It's absolutely terrible. Labyrinth Tank's amazing. Don't get me wrong. Labyrinth Tank's awesome. But my other guys, they can really use the help. Did that guy just skip his... Did Dungeon Worm just skip his turn? That's so weird. That's their best member, and they didn't do da a damn thing with it. All right. Drill! My only good attacker. Honestly, the other two are fine, too. That's actually... They're all good. Critical hit, instant death on the worm. Okay, very nice. We'll kill the spider next. That spider was rude enough to attack you, Shadow Gold. Get your revenge. And go ahead, Dark Chimera. Continue it on. We want to just destroy all of our opponents. And we have another guard from that guy. And now you're starting to guard. But you see, Labyrinth Tank doesn't care. He drill through his guard. He could drill through your guard. It's not his ability, but he will do it either way. 
And this should finish off that spider. So this entire fight, this mount, uh, this mountain guy, he did not want to whip us. Which, funny enough, that guy would fit Labyrinth Ruler's team really well. I just don't have him. Because he actually has that in Duels of the Roses. Oh, I couldn't break his guard. Alright, you're pretty tanky. Beast commands at a useless time. That was completely worthless. What, did you buff yourself and now you have no attack move? Great job. Great, great. Beautiful. Get drilled. Let's see if those commands can get you to survive this onslaught that I have coming your way. The answer is no. There's like, even if I miss four times, I'm going to kill him. Why specifically four? Because I was considering Labyrinth Tank missing. All of those times. Alright. There we go. Oh, wow. We do so much damage. And just like that, everybody, a ca another castle is taken. Labyrinth Ruler gets a little bit of levels. You know, he's stepping up. I think our lowest level member is Weevil, sadly. I haven't been able to use him a lot. So I should probably do that. Let's see. I'm going to switch up my defenses a little bit. Rex Raptor, you're a little weak. I understand. Um, we're going to build ourselves... Um, where's that healer called? Wow, that's expensive. Do it anyway. Build ourselves a healer. Put him in there. And we're going to send Bones out. Bones, you're going to... You're going to go onto the field. Let Rex handle the base. And Blue Eyes, you're also going to go out into the field, but get closer to the enemy base. Alright, everything seems to be good. Am I willing to just crash because I, I hate being patient? Honestly, I really do hate being patient. It's like, it's a problem. <clears throat> but it's my problem to bear, and your problem to watch. Let's see how many heals I have. You are not going to be... You're going to be patient. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth will be patient. You do not have a lot of heals like Labyrinth Ruler. What about you? Yeah, you're in the same boat. Okay. Well, I already used all my guys that have a lot of heals, so I can't... I can't go aggressive. I don't even have a heal on this team. They're, they're just aggression. And then this team, they're all fine. Yeah. Nuts. I only have two heals... Three heals left in total on this team. Well, patience will it will uh, it will be then. Let's uh, let's let's talk about some Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, as you can see, I've been having a lot of tournaments lately. Thursday, I've been streaming uh, tournaments that my YouTube members have recommended, and then on Saturdays, I have Twitch tournaments that uh, you know they're on their own thing. We're in season four of the tur uh, the AI tournaments, and they've been a lot of fun. This weekend, as of my recording, let me predict the future. It's probably two weeks from the time I recorded this video. I think my scheduled thing... Oh! Hello there, Ashizu! Who are you? That's Ashizu Ishtar, High Priestess of the Imperial Order and the root of all corruption in the Empire. The High Mage was under Scott's control and undermined the very foundation of the Empire. I blame myself for not being able to stop it from happening. You have every right to be angry, Lord Pegasus. I was locked away in Sigvars and only recently managed to escape. The High Mage was just being used by Scott. However, it is time to set things right again. Please allow me to help the Resistance. I stole some information about the Empire's defenses. Using this, we should be able to counter them. Please let me help. Allow me the chance to avenge my brother, the High Mage. And just like that, everybody, Ashizu has given us the information we need. And now we can go into enemy bases without them, you know, having the bullets or whatnot. The freaking, the freaking defenses up. Weevil will go first. He's going to be taking on Flame. I believe someone said Cerebrus. I, I'm sorry. It's Cerberus the dog, so it makes me think Cerberus, but I guess Cerebrus. Dragon Seeker and Onsatsu in the castle is actually a big threat. Okay, let's see how much he does to our, our little moth. That did a lot. Our moth, luckily, that's a level 1 monster. Luckily, our moth starts off with 2100 HP, which is 200 more than Blue Eyes, by the way. Our strongest Blue Eyes. Um, but that doesn't matter. What matters is Ansatsu needs to die. Luckily, his HP stat is super low, despite his high level and castle adept. Alright, great damage. Uh, Insect Queen. They all bully him. He dies. Although, if they go after you, you die. You know what? Just go after, go for him. Alright, in Queen's Inferno Breath, let's try to take out Ansatsu before it becomes an actual threat. Ooh, 430, pretty good, pretty good. And the perfectly ultimate Grave Moth, which we already have the special for at level 1. Phosphorus Poison. Poison all enemies with Phosphorus Poison. That's really cool. I want to use the ultimate Hurricane, personally. But I like that we have a Poison ability to start out. At level one, no less. All right, here we go. Ultimate Hurricane. 
And it looked like it was going after the wrong target, and I started to get worried, but it went the right way. Critical hit, 1,200 damage. And that Dragon Carnage, you really hate my perfectly ultimate Great Moth, don't you? He's down to 400. Abyss Fire from the Flame Cerebrus. Let's see how much it does. Ugh. Yeah, that Dragon Seeker guy does more. All right, we're going to Red Medicine up our guy using our Queen's only other attack, sadly. It had to be done. Remember, my monsters are level 1, so it's understandable that they don't do a lot. Uh, let's start attacking the Dragon Seeker. He seems to be the boss here doing most of the damage. We don't want to deal with him. And give him an ultimate hurricane. That last one was super strong, but we didn't get to see its base power because you got a crit. Let's see what your base power truly is. That, now it looks like it's going for Flame Cerebrus, but nope. There we go. And 637 level 1 base power. That's really good. All right, going after my only monster that does consistent damage because he actually has a lot of attacks. That's rude of you. Dragon Carnage now going after my Insect Queen. She's weak now, but once I can get her special, she'll be helpful. She's going to buff our whole team. Plus, I'm not going to leave out Insect Queen. That's Weevil's freaking boss for crying out loud. So is Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, mind you, but you know what I mean. They're his most iconic monsters. I'm not leaving them out. They both were used in Battle City, funny enough. Great Moth was used in Duel's Kingdom, but Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, that was used in Battle City, and it was awesome. Hercules Beetle, that's in our Duel's Kingdom monster. There we go. Almost killed him in one go. You know, this guy's for level one monsters. He did, a, he did a pretty damn good job. And at level 10, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth already gets another attack. That's freaking great. So nothing to worry about there. With just one monster left, just run back in there and kill him. Although I think Bickery Bucks might get the first attack off. It's a race. Let's see who wins this race. It looks like that guy's faster. Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth might be faster. Okay. You know what? It is a flying troop, so maybe that's why. They're all a little bit faster. And here we go. This guy might not even get a turn. No, he did not. All right, Weevil Underwood. Hopefully that got you some levels because you were kind of low level. Let's see. Level 17. Maybe you can knock that up one more. Yep, level 18. That that makes me feel a little bit better about him. I mean, granted, Rex Raptor is like 20 or something. So maybe I should level him up a little more. But I'm glad that he got these levels as is. So let's go ahead and move him towards... Oh, whoops, forgot about this. All right, let's go ahead and take out this enemy. Now, Pegasus, he's just strong. I don't need to worry about Pegasus. He's a damn good member of the team. All of his members are great. Dark Rabbit maybe could be replaced, but... I don't know any other Toonish monsters in my party. It's like, well, you don't have to use Toons. You can use whatever you want. Shut up. I want to use the monsters I like. The only one I kind of screw around with is Mokuba, because Mokuba doesn't really have a set team. And Labyrinth Ruler, I'm treating like the Paradox Brothers, because I should, honestly. Ooh, critical hit. Very nice. And Dark Rabbit, why don't you snap his neck? See, in all that pink smoke, he snapped his neck. I know you couldn't tell, but it happened. This guy's effect of Dragon Carnage is really problematic, so we're going to need to try and kill him. Let's break anything he does to us. Yeah, Dragon Carnage could do a lot to our Parrot Dragon, so we definitely need to kill this guy off. Critical hit. Wow. Pegasus, your crits are just on point today. And they love Bully and Bickery Box, which I guess I should be okay with because Bickery Box has 22, uh, 2338 HP. Not as much as Paradragon, but a damn high amount for my beater monster. Or my boss monster, honestly. Well, sadly, they uh, actually bullied him a little too much. Everyone was kind of going after him. So I'm going to Red Medicine just so he's not in crit range. Not something I want to deal with. And honestly, because Paradragon doesn't do that much damage anyway. He does good damage, it's just he doesn't have any buffs. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and Abyss Crown. You have Abyss Flame, I got Abyss Crown. Let's see who's stronger. My crown does 703 damage. How does Abyss Fire do? Abyss Fire, so I do 703 with Abyss Crown. You only do 410. See, we're both from the Abyss, but I'm on a different level. You don't even know. And just like this is real fire. Eh, he gets one more attack. Okay, well, snap all three of their necks. There we go. Our rabbit managed to finish them off. And our toon team is still busted. Wow, Pegasus is really high level. 
<clears throat> That's problematic. He's too high level. I'm gonna have to leave him alone. I'll leave him alone now. Although I did give just about everyone but Bones a fight. I'm not gonna give Bones a fight today. He's a little too strong. Uh, Weevil, why don't you come out of your base? I'm gonna need you for something. Oh, you really don't have that many heals. Okay, well, heal this one for sure. Just because they're low HP. And Kaiba, get in position. You're gonna get ready, too. So, Weevil's gonna take out that one guard that ran over when we first started the mission. I remember watching him. I didn't even try to intercept him. I don't really have any fast troops in this one. I think Armored Zombie's my fastest. Alright, so he's got... Ooh, he's got a... What, that's like a Joey team with mixed with the little Kaiba. Alright, he's got the Mighty Panther Warrior with a lot of stats. My god, maybe maybe I sent the wrong team. Alright, and Panther Warrior sadly is guarding, and that's the one thing I want to hit. They all have Beast Fangs as well. Alright, Swift Panther, they don't have anything special. Um, Huh. This is actually scary. That Panther Warrior is on a different level. They, they made that monster way too busted. Alright, let's go ahead and knock that guy's HP down just a little bit. He's not my real target, but he needs to be dealt with. Alright, Hercules Beetle's in a little bit of trouble. You're my only healer, but I can't use that yet. Um, go ahead and just attack that guy. There we go. Now, this is the wrong play, but I'm going to go for the poison. It's 100% the wrong play. Because it's going to cost me too special to do this. But I want to. And I missed on him because I think he was guarding still. Whatever. I'm going to do the wrong play because it's what... Oh, God, he did 600 damage. Oh, God. I have put I have put uh, my buddy in a lot of trouble. Weevil is in a lot of trouble. Uh, Hercules Beetle. Since the other two just happen to be poisoned. Uh, let's knock him down to a point where that... Oh, did that guy break out a poison immediately? God damn it. Yeah, I knew it was a bad move. Poison's like the worst ability in this game. It only did 84 damage. It's the worst ability. I really just wanted to show off the attack before the episode was over, so I didn't have to do it again. But, I'm starting to realize that was a horrible, horrible mistake on my part. Um, hmm. Mistakes were made. Um, let's see. Well. If I don't kill Panther Warrior, we, we literally lose this fight. So even though Battle Ox is right next to death, Panther Warrior will probably get four more attacks than him in total. So let's go ahead and do what I should have done in the beginning and go for Ultimate Hurricane. I looked like I was missing the wrong target, but let's go ahead. Now, I did level up, so maybe I could do a little bit of damage. 631, that's pretty damn good. Swift Panther slash, please don't aim it perfect. Damn it, I need him to get experience and you're bullying him. Um, crushing Axe, yep. Okay, good, you're not just bullying him. Spread the damage, get to... Give a little to Insect Queen. I know she needs the experience too, but if she dies, she dies. All right, they guarded. Let's go ahead and try to kill off that Panther Warrior. I would need a, probably a crit to save me some HP, but overall, I'm in a very bad situation that I put myself in because I decided to use one of the worst moves that looks really cool, but, you know, can't, can't do it. All right, and my monsters, at least they're spreading the damage. That's very kind of them. As long as they don't focus Hercules Beetle, I can finish off the Panther Warrior and stop it from killing us. But they literally can't focus my Hercules Beetle. Alright, that guy's still burning to death. And don't look at him, don't look at him. Damn it! Ah! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! That was the one guy! That's the one thing! If only he got poisoned. If he got poisoned, we would have killed him. That was the one thing he could have done. And now we lost the fight. We literally lose everybody. There's no way in hell we survive anymore. And we didn't even kill him with the... Po oh my god, that was the worst play I've made in a long time. I was like, oh, I want to show the people the move. It's it's pretty cool. Eh, no, that's so stupid. Worst ability in the game. And with two attacks left, unless he's nice enough to guard. That's a GG for Weevil Underwood. Well, at least that... Oh, he died to poison! <laughs> at least he did end up dying to poison, but... We died in two. So, Weevil... I hope you had fun. You are technically my lowest level guy. You got like no experience for that. All because I decided to use Foster. I didn't, I shouldn't have done it. I knew it. I was thinking it the entire time. I'm like, this is a bad idea. And I did anyway. Oh shit, I didn't notice they're respawning troops. Is that freaking Loomis? Oh shit. Pegasus might be in a little bit of danger there. Okay, let's move our guy forward before Loomis comes in. No, it's freaking, it's freaking Pegasus. Pegasus could take out Loomis. 
Especially a half health Loomis. That guy's not even a threat. Alright. So my idea is that this guy's going to start healing immediately. So let's have him heal himself. Because he's the most useless member. If he spends his turns healing, I don't care. Okay, Justice Flash. That's the special attack. Ah, Bickery Box. Oh, they missed everyone else. So they just really hate Bickery Box, whatever his typing is. It's probably Spellcaster. Um, you know what? Just kill off their healer. Never mind. I thought he would get a chance to heal, but he did not. Orion's Anger, of course. Man, they love hitting Bickery Box. Is, does Bickery Box have an ability that says you must hit me? Like, what did Bigger Ox actually do to anybody? Because I think he's a nice guy. He's my favorite. You know, he's the boss of my clown deck. In real life and, you know, in the games I play. So what the hell? My clown deck is my actual deck. Alright. Well, these monsters. Yeah, Loomis being this low level. He's going to give us a lot of experience, but he's really weak. And Kaiba. I'm going to have to have... Yeah, I'm going to have to have Kaiba deal with this other guy. But he's also got to deal with Umbra. Wow, I'm giving... I could let Bones do it. I really could. But Bones is so strong already that it feels like bullying. It really does. You know what? I am. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Kaiba, because they're already respawning and that worries me. I'm going to let Kaiba take out the main baddie. Uh, not the main baddie. I'm going to let him take out the weak baddie. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Uh, just kill him. Your, your friend already did most of the work. Yep, Weevil sacrificed his life for you, Kaiba. All you have to do is hit that guy once, and the rest of this fight's up. Oh, he got his attack first. All you have to do is hit that guy once, and the rest of this battle's easy. Okay, he gets both his attacks first. That's a little unlucky. But he spread out the damage, so I'm not even worried. All right, you kill him. Beautiful. The blue eyes was successful. Now, weakness of my blue eyes, obviously, is they really don't have a lot of attack points. Lo uh, well, attack chips. Luckily, that does not matter. Because we're just strong uh, no matter what. We're doing 300 damage with, like, no buffs, so... We'll take it. And we're, like, level 15 for crying out loud. Alright, this guy's gonna crushing access. A little bit rude of him. My blue eyes are in a bit of pain. I could do it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to send Obelisk after Garuzis. That'd just be rude. It would just be completely cruel of me. All right. And you're the one that still has it. Our final fusion. And this is it, everybody. The final fusion of the day. He's got a crushing axe. I do not care. Thanks to my super, uh, super armor and stamina and all that fun stuff, he could go straight to hell. Alright, Garuzis gets one shot. Very nice. I like that the if you look at the heads, they like fight each other. You see that? Yeah. Alright, Kaiba, you got to level 18. That's pretty good for your first, you know, your first episode. Maybe maybe you just be happy with that. Everyone's alive, everyone got to 18. Weevil's in the background, like, you let me die. I could just let Kaiba go for it. Screw bones, maybe I don't need them. All right. You know what? If I'm going to be this risky, let's see what we're up against. Uh, icon mode. Um, enemies. Umbra. Ooh, he's got a cool... You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Only because he has a cool team. Umbra's team is definitely not what he used in the show, but it's a cool one nonetheless. He's got... You will not pass. The legendary Sur Serpent Knight Dragon. A rare card given out at a tournament um, that was earned by Rex Raptor and he was willing to use in his deck. He's got Rui Kishin Powered, which is a Kaiba monster, and he's got Bickery Box, which in this game is uh, Pegasus's boss monster. Shatter, you dick. Alright, so let's see Serpent Knight Dragon in action. That'd be a pretty good monster to give to... Well, not really, but it'd be a pretty cool monster to give to Rex Raptor. Especially since uh, some of his other monsters, Thunder Dragon, is really not going to work out. I just wanted to show off the fusion, but even Rex Raptor didn't die today. Weevil got wiped. Yes, it's my fault, but he got wiped. All right, let's go ahead and start working on that Bickery Box. You know what? I'm starting to understand. I understand why the enemy attacks Bickery Box now. He's the actual threat on the field. Bickery Box is the threat. 
All right, and it's not you either, so go ahead and attack Victory Box. I'm glad that I don't have to use my guy yet. And this is the one. Let's go ahead and bring him out here, everybody. Umbra thinks he's so strong, but nothing can stand up to this. And we they tried, don't get me wrong. We had to fight a Blue Eyes Ultimate with an Obelisk the Tormentor, and it was a badass fight. But nothing can stand up to this. Powered Beam, go ahead. Yep. That's uh, how much damage? 300? That's pretty good, honestly. You're doing that to a god. But 300 damage to a god means nothing. Let's see what your boss does. Serpent Night Dragon. How much? How much? 400 damage. Okay. Well, what about Vickery Box, your real boss? Vickery Box does... Even more. Yep, Vickery Box is the real boss. Okay. Well, we've had fun. Omni Hand Crusher. <sighs> Granted, we're a little bit weaker obelisk because we have blue. I mean, we have uh, weaker monsters. Oh, you actually have a heal. Good for you. That's uh, kind of adorable, and I didn't realize you had heals. If I'm not careful, those heals can cost me the fight. Will cost me my fusion. Or f well, it's not a fusion, but my my god card. Because every time I use Omni Hand Crusher, it costs two attacks, not just one. All right, shatter. But it's the coolest attack. The other one is cool. It's a laser beam from his head, but it's not as cool. Um, honestly, I'm a little upset that we missed Rukishin Power. Let's not miss him this time. There we go. Everyone gets hit. And now everyone's near death. Go ahead and blue medicine up. Let's see if it matters. I don't think you can blue... Unless it gives you 1,000 HP, I don't think it's enough. Almost 1,000? Oh, okay. Blue medicine's going up to 700 HP. That's pretty good. It used to do like 150, 250, 350. I saw it rise during the Let's Play. Abyss Crown again. This Victory Box and that or, uh, Serpent Night Dragon. Victory Box especially, but Serpent Night Dragon does good attack too. They're the only ones doing some real damage to me. Funny enough, I used Serpent Night Dragon back in uh, my Duels of the Roses Let's Play. My very first one, way back like four or five years ago. It was a lot of fun. It was my Ritual Monster and I used it to take out Yugi. Pretty clutch fight too. Hey, critical hit kills all of them. Good job, Obelisk. And now the Blue Eyes White Dragons reach level 23. Kaiba, you beat Loomis, you beat Umbra, and we've won the match. Also, Ashizu helped. Very nice of her. We will still in the background dead, no one giving him any credit. <laughs> Finally, Sigvarth's in my sights. Before you attack Sigvarth, there is something I must tell you. It's about Mokuba, the one you're looking for. Where is he? Volko has been kept in Sigvarth's. He was brought there just as I was making my escape. I believe that he is still in Sigvarth's with Scott. If you take me to Sigvarth's, I may be able to determine exactly where Scott is keeping him. So I ask you, please allow me to fight with you. I am also a marshal. I am sure I could be a, uh, an asset to the resistance. All right, I will be counting on you when we reach Sigvarth's. Do not let me down. Hey, we finally get a new member, everybody. It's going to be a Shizu. I'm sad that we can't get Bandit Keith, but at least we get a Shizu Ishtar. And that's an awesome team member for Kaiba, since, you know, they actually fight each other in the show. Having taken over Nonbear Castle, Kaiba and his army are poised to attack the capital, when suddenly Scott and his army appear behind and quickly take control of the perimeter. Kaiba moves his forces to Anchor Hill in order to fight the enemy now behind him. All right, guys, I'll see you next episode for Surprise Attack. New member, Ashizu! You're ready. We got Orion the Battle King, Dunami's the Dark Witch, and I don't remember you. Who are you? Magician of Faith. Wow, it's good to see you. You're an old, you're a blast from the past. All right, bye-bye, everybody.